Hi y'all, welcome, it's Joanne. Today I'm here to do Wallpaper Wednesday, but before I do that, I wanted to show you something else. A couple days ago I did a video on coffee dyeing paper, a different way that I've been doing it lately, just because, honestly, I just don't uh, didn't want to have to spread papers all over everywhere for them to dry. So this is really a quick and easy way to do it. I don't know if you saw the video, but I basically just dye it right in this pan. I pour the coffee off completely, and then I put the pan of wet papers outside on the patio. I left them there all day, well, Saturday afternoon, all day Sunday, and today's Monday I'm filming this. And they're, they're already dry. I just leave them in this paper, and as they dry, they pop up so they don't stick together. But if you saw, I did some, I put some salt. Actually, this is probably the top one because it's the darkest. But I did a little bit of um, spray with the Distress ink. This was a turquoise. So the first few layers did come out with some turquoise. I don't know how well that shows. I haven't ironed them or done anything to them yet. I just wanted to show you real quick how they came out. And I put salt. Oh, here's another one with turquoise. Um, I put salt on a few of them, not all. And I had a couple people asking what the salt does. And basically, it just, wherever you sprinkle the salt, it absorbs the liquid, the coffee. And then it leaves, you know, different little markings on the paper. Some of these have the turquoise and some don't. What I did is I just sprayed some on top and then lifted a few sheets and sprayed a little more and then lifted a few more sheets and sprayed. I didn't really want them all to have turquoise. But anyway, this is them. And I just wanted to show you. And like I said, I did this Saturday afternoon, put them in the sun, dried them all day Sunday, and half a day this morning. And they're completely dry. Now, if you have to leave them in the house, if you don't have a sunny spot outside, you know, it's going to take longer to dry. But, like everything else, it has pros and cons. So, let's get into the wallpaper. I've got some really pretty sets this week. Well, actually, I think they all are, but that's beside the point. Um... So we've got these. I think these are real pretty. These, it's like this part is uh, almost embossed. It's like a, I don't know, velveteen kind of feel to it. Really pretty. So these are all some nice patterns here. Let's get this. And all of these today are the same size. And I didn't measure, but let's see. 14 by 11 and a half. So they're all nice big ones. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? These are all really nice. We've got this one. Owl on this. Go ahead and open another one. That's real pretty too. Like I said, they're all the same size. This one and this. And as always, I you know I like to curate them so they all work well together. This is 
really different, isn't it? This looks like cork almost. sheets in each set. Oh, that, it's upside down. That's really pretty. Oh, look at the little bunny. I didn't even notice that. These are really pretty papers. one out of this batch. Sheets are all so big you really have a lot to work with. this week's wallpaper. Hope you like these. Hope you'll check them out in the shop, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Happy crafting.